Avacoda, let's install PostgreSQL on Windows 10. First of all, we are visiting our big friend Google and in search we type download PostgreSQL. So the first stop is going to be the official PostgreSQL website. The choice is obvious, it's Windows. And here we click on download the installer and the version I'm going to use is version 12. Download the installer. Here I choose Windows 64 and I click download. Download begins and while we wait we shall see a commercial. Set. We're riding on the internet, cyberspace set free. Hello virtual reality. Interactive appetite, searching for a website, a window to the world, got to get online. Take a spin, now you're in with the techno set, you're going surfing on the internet. All right, it has finished the downloading and now we can click on the file. Here is a standard Windows setup wizard where we just click next, next, next. And here we can see the instruments. That is going to be installed on our computer, fine by us. Here we must select password to connect to our local server. It's quite an important one, so please select a password that you will remember. Or write it down somewhere or make it to with it. Here is a port that our PostgreSQL is going to be listening on. And here we can choose a locale, which is a language if English is not the first language of choice for you and here pre-installation summary that should all be good for us so we click next and the installation begins once it's finished we can start setting up Postgres on our system for example here we can select remote server or local server listening on port 54 32, which is going to be our choice. If we would want any additional features or utilities, which obviously for this lesson we don't really want, but anyway, we can use the Stack Builder to download them later and add them to our Postgres. However, I will not choose any of them, rather, I will start PG Admin right now just to check that everything works so here's pg admin 4 and here i need to provide the password which we selected previously okay as you can see we have a list of databases login group roles table spaces it all works pretty well that was V. Please give this video Emperor's thumbs up, toll the bell and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and goodbye.